Hey guys, happy Monday. Another day, another video of me merging three fuse boards into one. This EICR was unsatisfactory and the client wanted the C3s done as well while I'm here to ensure the safety of his home and his family. The serious fault notice there is for the undersized meter tails. Also, a must have for when you're doing fuse boards is this retractable stool because you can adjust the height to make sure that you are comfortable. I started off by taking off the little mini fuse board that was literally held together by tape that is dangerous and it wasn't even secure to the wall. Took off all the meter tails, put it into my scrap bag for later, um, took out all the breakers as well, took everything out, half of it went in the bin, half of it went into my scrap bag. This was a little bit of a bird's nest to get off and once I did manage to take everything out and I was taking the fuse board off the wall, the wall basically crumbled. But it is an old building, 1920s built, so to be honest I didn't expect <laughs> much from that wall to be honest. So yeah, just went straight into the rubble bag. So I'll be placing a whisker relocation kit in this area here to extend the cables as some of them are too short and I can't get them into where the new board will be, which is just on the right there. So yeah, took everything off, uh, moved everything over to see what cables had to be extended and what didn't. So this is the relocation kit. I went for a fuse box this time, the biggest one they had with all the RCBOs and SPD. So this is inside the whisker relocation kit. It's basically weird way it goes, <laughs> um, but really cool, really easy to use. So I drilled the holes where I needed them to go. And what I got to try actually is the new fuse box membrane grommet things that come with the little grooves on the side that all the other ones I've used before don't have. So when you're actually trying to put these into the fuse board, they go in a lot easier because yeah, they've got the little grooves and it really, really helps. So uh, I'll definitely be getting these rather than anything else now. So yeah, that was ready. That was prepped uh, to go onto the wall where one of the old fuse boxes were to extend all the cables that were too short. So here's me kind of uh, taping the cables together so they can go in easier. Putting them in there and all the other ones there were long enough to keep them. So yeah, this is this is everything nicely, neatly laid out. So what I did is I batched up all the RCBOs and piles of the ratings so that when I'm kind of, you know, doing the fuse board, it's a lot easier for me to grab what I need. Um, don't know where I went off there. <laughs> oh, to get one of these things. To be honest, I don't even know what that's called. It's just, yeah. Um, normally I use the strip, which I prefer, but I thought, you know what, let me try just use this thing. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what it's called. I always forget because uh, I never use it. I put out all the RCBOs in piles so that I can just grab what I need. Got the 6mm cable to extend for the cooker and all the other cables as well. I had little bits cut off. So I actually worked with my apprentice and I let him do the relocation bit side by side. I said to him, look, mate, you can do a mini fuse board, basically. <laughs> and um, it was quite fun um, working side by side. And, you know, I was there if he... <laughs> needed anything and I just realized in that video he was I think putting an earth on <laughs> the live cable <laughs> funny um but yeah here's me I've put all the breakers in and this is actually the miniature RCBO compared to the standard one and that's the difference in size so I've noticed most people when they do fusibles they use the larger RCBOs the little one was only one or two pound dearer, but there is a lot of room in the fuse board anyway. So having the bigger ones don't really make much of a difference. And this is the extra long buzz bar. This is the work that he did. I think he did quite good. And this is the work that I did. I think I did quite all right as well. Um, Not as neat as everyone else's, but I think, yeah, it's great. So yeah, that's all done. Ready to be labeled up and signed off. Thanks for watching.